During last night's debate, Kamala Harris doubled down on her diehard support of the genocidal state of Israel, even repeating the October 7th mass rape hoax. Well, let's understand how we got here. On October 7th, Hamas, a terrorist organization, slaughtered 1,200 Israelis, many of them young people who were simply attending a concert. Women were horribly raped. And so absolutely, I said then, I say now, Israel has a right to defend itself. This is Zionists projecting their rape culture onto the Palestinians in order to justify genocide. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris, self-described feminist, hasn't said a word about the mass systemic rape that was proven, that was committed by the Israeli military against Palestinians. The Israeli military and the Israeli police even admit that there's no evidence of mass rape occurring on October 7th. One of the families of the victims of October 7th called out the New York Times for lying about the fact that their daughter was raped. Since then, the New York Times had to walk back their claims and try to bury the fact that they was caught lying about mass rapes on October 7th. This is the same article and debunked story that Kamala Harris and genocidal liberals repeat in order to justify the slaughter of Palestinians. Isn't it interesting how the moderators decided not to fact check this? The moderator fact checked Donald Trump over every little thing. Meanwhile, they let Kamala Harris get away with genocidal propaganda. The message sent by the moderators was clear. Any lies used to benefit genocide and imperialism is 100% welcome in our political discourse.